Hello student, this is Dr. Nesar and we are continuing with our next lecture uh, related with the unit we are discussing that is the leveraging information system and uh, currently we are discussing the points related to the ERP and today's our point of discussion is the generic model of ERP which is nothing but the third lecture in the uh, in case of the, our ERP session. Now, <clears throat> this is nothing but the generic, uh, generic model of the ERP, okay, which we are going to discuss in this lecture. Now, in the generic model of the ERP, what we have sh uh, shown, here we have shown the different uh, modules uh, using which the ERP function. Okay, all of you are aware with the functionality of the ERP. So today's our point is are the which are the different modules uh, using which the ERP uh, perform his role and these are the different modules uh, using which the ERP perform his role. I mean that module we have the first uh, the central you can see this is the central database. Then we have the EDI module electronic data inter interchange module okay that uh, everything we will discuss in, in detail. Then uh, we have the multi capability module. We have the data creation module. Uh, we have the strat strat strategic planning resources module. Uh, then we have the operational planning resources module. And again, here we have uh, electronic approval process module. Okay, so using these all, uh, uh, we can say one using this eight. Uh, modules the functionality of uh, ERP we can have or the ERP uh, perform its functions. Now let's see one by one in detail. Okay, as I said uh, in the generic model of ERP, we will discuss about the specific modules of the ERP system uh, which are responsible for functionality of the ERP. Now first we have the strategic planning of resources and in the strategic planning of resources, as all of you know, resources are, if you consider the general resources of any business or the industry are nothing but the, uh, are the main machine material and the money. Now, uh, as you can see in the diagram also, you have seen the two important uh, modules are first is the strategic planning of resources and second we are going to discuss as the operational planning of the resources. So what is the, exactly the difference between these two? The strategic planning is nothing but the long-term planning that is being done in the industries. Long-term planning related with the main material money machines. That is the strategic planning of the resources. So, and the second that we are going to discuss that is the operational planning of resources, which also does the planning of this main material money machine. But that is a short-term kind of planning, uh, which is nothing but our operational planning. Okay, daily planning we can say. So first we are discussing the strategic planning, which is nothing but the long-term planning of the different resources of particular organization. Then what exactly it includes the strategic planning of resources? So strategic planning help to do the planning of the utilization of different kind of major resources. Now we know the major resources like the human uh, as a, you can see the main resource, equipment as a machine, material, raw material and the money. So to do the planning of all this, we have the first module that is the strategic planning of the resources. So using this, uh, the these all the resources are get managed and the handle and the plan. So if you think about the management of the human resource, now it includes the maintaining the employee database, how many employees are working in your company, job profile of each employee, what is the speciality of each employee, what, what what specific work that employee can do that is the job profile description details regarding that uh, activity that is being done by that uh, particular employee application tracking that is the work of the human resource application tracking means which new applications are coming in the company for the purpose of recruitment okay that is the application tracking then performance review performance review 
related with the uh, existing employee in the company how much how much they are performing okay what is what what exactly uh, if you see the 100% performance out of the 100 how they are performing 80% 90% what is their performance in the working of the company then career planning what what can be the another uh, training that can be provided training that is this, uh, the last point that career planning and identifying the training needs so this this point also uh, get covered this functionality also get covered under the strategic planning of resources and in the in that the human resource key is there any need for our employee to give the training apply employee training chi garaj hai ka if they need to learn some new technology so all these things are get managed under the strategic planning of resources and in that mainly the managing the main or the human resource so apart from the managing the human resource there is another important resource which need to be managed and the plan these are nothing but the equipment that is the machines then the materials money so these resources also need to be managed and this is being get done using the strategic planning of the resources okay now what 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 kind of planning related with the equipment that we'll see in the next slide okay so uh, like what we can say uh, keeping the proper record of the uh, what you can say the operating cost of equipment maintenance cost of the equipment so this related with the machine this information is get managed uh, okay handle uh, using the strategic planning of the resources operating cost in the sense uh, when the machine is in the current operation okay operation operating and maintenance cost is nothing but the, when the machine is in the uh, doing some activity is there any need of maintenance if some part get damaged etc etc then replacing that part okay these all the records are being kept that is uh, uh, that is also the part of strategic planning of resource uh, that is related with the machines okay as well as keeping an up to date record of status of equipment its location in which uh, area this equipment is working it at which plant it is working etc etc these all the things are being maintained online then equipment scheduling okay what kind of activity just like what we can say uh, if the employee are working in some company so related with the employee scheduling of his work ki today what work he is going to do that exact scheduling used to be there in the college also you can see uh, teachers follow the timetable ki at which time they have to they need to take the which lectures etc etc so in the similar way what kind of work that can be assigned to the equipment that scheduling also being managed with the help of the strategic planning of the resources then setup cost of machine installation cost of machine when the machine newly comes in the company what is its installation cost setup cost then machine running cost when machine actually doing the activity what its running cost maintenance cost these all the things are covered under the strategy planning of the resources and this this planning is done as a long term planning for your kind information okay so this is the first one first uh, module of the uh, generic model of erp second here we have the operational planning as i told you op in the operational planning also the same all the resources are get managed and handle but this is the short term planning short term planning of that resources if you say the uh, strategic planning of resources that is the first uh, module it for example if i say that module does the planning for the one year so operational planning used to do the daily planning or weekly planning so today what kind of uh, what kind of management required or what kind of uh, planning is required for the main machine material etc or for next week what kind of planning is required for this all the resources main machine money so that short that is the short term planning so that is being covered under the operational planning of the resources so in addition to that this uh, operational planning of resources also uh, manage the different thing that no resource lie unused or is over committed means operational planning also take care of the things ki kutle je kai tumcha company madhe resource astil te kutle hi machine unused asta kama nahi कि प्रत्येक रिसोर्स वर्क असाइन पाजे इट शुड नॉट रिमेन अनयूज और इट शुड नॉट रिमेन आइडियल सो जे का रिसोर्सेस मेन मनी मशीन मटेरियल हाथ सगना का टास्क असाइन 
पाहिजे एव्हरीथिंग शुड बी अंडर द युज नथिंग शुड बी अन लाय अनयुज सो दॅट केअर इज ऑल्सो टेकन इन द ऑपरेशनल प्लॅनिंग ऑफ द रिसोर्सेस अँड ऑल्सो की एक्स्ट्रा ओव्हर वर्क इट शुड नॉट ऑल्सो हॅपन दॅट सम रिसोर्सेस आर गेट ओव्हर वर्क ओर सम रिसोर्सेस आर गेटिंग द ओव्हर बर्डन ऑफ द वर्क इट शुड नॉट ऑल्सो हॅपन अंडरस्टूड दॅट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ that no resources lie unused or no resources is over committed means you cannot uh, assign the extra or the more work to some resource uh, like main or the machine which is out of its capacity understood jar tumhi machine kadun extra work if you if you try to do some some activity from the machine which is not in its capacity then it might be happen that that machine might be get uh, damage understood or if you try to uh assign some works to the main or the employee uh if you ask them to do the uh, overtime number of days if if the overtime for one day two day it's okay but if you ask them to do the overtime for one month one year then that is considered as a over committed understood now because of that the problem might occur uh, problem might happen with that employee also and uh, it might uh, problem might occur uh, related with its working capacity uh the problem might uh, happen with its uh, what we can say the psychology of working etc etc so so what i want to say ki je kai tumcha company madhe resources astil ki tanna tumhi you should assign them a particular work ki you, you should uh, it should not happen that ki tanna tumhi over uh, uh, you are assigning them uh, what you can say uh, work which is not in their capacity or you are asking them to do the more work which might dab which might uh, which might damage that particular equipment or which might affect the working capacity of employee okay so take care must be taken ki every resources must be under use but it, uh, resources must not be uh, uh, over committed means you should not assign the work to that resources which is uh, what we can say more than its limit understood that is that is what i want to say so you should assign the uh you should do the management in such a way that ki you should assign the work to each resources with their capacity with some limitation and care must be taken ki kutlehi resources ideal rata kama nahi kutlehi resources unused rata kama nahi so that thing is managed by the operational planning of the resources as well as time and attendance is also another resource which is covered here and time and attendance in the sense whether all the employees are coming at the on particular time in the company this is being also managed in the operational planning of resources okay and these all the things are linked with the payroll of their uh, employee pay, payroll in the sense related with the payment so if the employee not coming on the time then it might affect on their payments understood these all the things are managed in the operational planning as well as uh, uh tracking the daily performance of the employee okay these things also manage in the operational planning doing the job evaluation of, of, of employee these all the records are kept in the operational planning of the resources okay then next uh, thing that is managed in the operational planning is the daily tracking and analysis of cost that are directly related with the production process daily tracking and analysis of cost means what suppose uh, some 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 if, if today that particular machine is uh, under the working condition and it is doing some activity it is producing some product so for today what is the cost of production of that particular uh, product using that machine so keeping the daily record of that that is nothing but the daily tracking and analysis analysis of cost that is directly related with the production process uh, that is also considered the cost accounting of manufacturing keep suppose for particular day la eka machine madun kiti product uh, produce hota hai ani tachi production cost kiti ha sagla record this all the things are being planned and managed in the operational planning of the resources so these all the things are get done in the operational planning of resources as we have seen first one is nothing but what uh, the care must be taken that no resource should remain unused also no resource should be assigned the uh, work more than its limitation Uh, then the time may, uh, handling of the attendance of the employee linking linking that to their payment slip payroll performance manage performance uh, tracking job evaluation and daily tracking and analysis of cost of manufacturing the different 
product these all the things are managed in the operational planning of the resources then <clears throat> next uh, we have the next module in the generic module of erp where the central database as you can see here i have shown in this diagram also so this is a central database now it is called as the central because it is at the center of the all the modules or center of the all the activities consist of the various entities that are shared by all the functions of the enterprises so this center central database database is located at the center point of all these activities or it is located at the central point of all of all these modules okay so all these uh, for all these modules to work they need to share this central database okay every information is get stored in this central database which is shared by all these modules okay and these all these modules can be utilized by the various functional department of that particular business all of you have discussed functional department of different business are like their sales department purchase financial accounting productions etc etc so this central database is shared by all these uh, different uh, modules okay and these modules can be utilized by the different functional department now what kind of information are used uh, store in this central database accounting information is stored in the accounting information payable amount receivable amount payable amount means what cash outflow cash outflow means money which is going out of the company whether company uh, whether company is paying to somebody now company has to pay to somebody also you know to purchase the raw material company also need to pay to another company so that is the payable account information receivable account information that is the cash inflow money which is coming inside the company whether how much money uh, so record of how much money is going to be come inside the company that can be the uh, suppose you have provided the material to some customer you have provided the product to some another company to the customer so that that is nothing but the receivable account information money which is which is going to be come inside the company that is the account information that is the receivable then daily expenditure of the company you can say the related with the stationery etc etc that is the general ledger employee database all the information related to the employee also store in the central database employee database you can see the skills of the different employee their payment information these all the things are stored in the central database as well as the inventory budget inventory the raw material budget these all the things are being stored in this central database understood so this is the main database which is being accessed by these all the modules understood and that's why it is being referred as a central database so this is the third module of the our uh, generic module of erp then we have the next one that is the electronic data interchange you must have heard this word electronic data interchange is nothing but the transmission of data Uh, between the organization or between the that different departments which are present in that organization different departments like the sales department purchase accounting etc etc now what exactly mean by the electronic data interchange is nothing but the computer to computer exchange of business documents in the electronic format between the business partners understood means for example suppose sales department want to send some information document uh <clears throat> to the account information okay then sales department for the sales department there is a no need that physical person should take the department should should take the document from the sales department and go into the accounting department and give that physical document there so there is a no no need of this kind of activity because here in case of the electronic data interchange that document in the form of document can be in the form of the word excel etc etc document can be related with the tally material so that uh, document is sent from the computer to computer computer to computer in the same just like when you used to say something uh, uh, to your friend through the email understood you can send the document to your friend through the email so that kind of facility is available here that is the electronic data interchange understood so no need to physically carry the document from one department to the another department here document uh, in the form of in the electronic form can be taken from can be sent from one computer to the another computer that is nothing but the electronic data interchange okay so what kind of things happen using this it is used to transfer the electronic document or the business data 
electronic document in the sense the document which is being handled through the computer so okay that is the meaning of electronic document no need to carry the physically document like uh, any uh, print out from one department to the another department simply it is the facility is made available to send the document from one department to the another department through the computers now this is also being referred as a electronic data interchange okay so here i have mentioned the same thing edi used to transfer the electronic documents or the business data from one trading partner to the another trading partner means from one employee to the another employee or from one business unit to the another business unit or from one uh, department of the business to the other departments without human intervention so there is a no need as if you, if you see the if the physically document need to send transfer from one department to another department you need the clerk etc to send that document to another department but there is a no requirement such kind of human intervention here because we have the electronic way to transfer the data without human intervention hence the customer information now what kind of uh, uh, documents or the information sent from computer to computer like the customer information can be sent orders of the customer can be sent billing as a invoices can be share now these all the things can be share in the real time in the real time in the sense ki if if the information uh, available to the sales department at the 10 am and uh, if the sales department sell that uh, send that information to the what we can say the accounting department then within a some very less amount of time that information get share with that accounting department there is a no delay in real time in the sense there is a no delay in the transfer of document from one department to the another department so this is nothing but the important model that is the electronic data interchange then next important model we have the imaging now imaging is the one important tool as a module in case of the erp uh, which increase the integration process within a enterprise now imaging means what sharing and storing of different kind of images charts graphs pictures drawing de design drawing uh, these things are being share with the help of this imaging model that's why it is being referred as a imaging because using using this model it become possible to share and store the different kind of things as like uh, images charts graphs pictures uh, drawing uh, designing uh, drawing design etc etc so this is also the important component uh, in the generic module that is the imaging so imaging okay understood i hope all of you are getting this then next important uh, module we have the database creation now this database creation means what creating the different uh, forms of the data or uh, creation of various forms and the type of data that is needed throughout the enterprise different or the various forms of the data in the sense what various forms of the data in the sense what if the data is available in the word format then or the, if the data is available in the excel format then transformation or conversion of that data into the some charts or conversion of that data into the some uh, what we can say the graphs like this kind of things is being nothing but this component database creation so which convert the data of one particular form into the another form or convert the data of one particular type into the another particular type and which can be then share within all the departments of that particular business or the enterprise so this is nothing but the database creation which transform the various which convert the one particular uh, form of the data into the another form just i told you uh, word form excel form can be converted into different charts graphs etc etc so this activity is done by this uh, uh, component or the module of the Uh, generic uh, in the generic model of the ERP. Then next important we have the electronic approval process. Now this is the most important electronic approval process. Okay. Now for example, uh, suppose in the college also, if you want to issue the book uh, from the library, what you do? You do the one application, then you go to the HOD, you take the sign. Okay. Uh, hod then you go to the principal and then you take the sign and then you go to the library so taking this sign is nothing but the that you are you are now permitted or you are now approved to issue the book from the library okay so this is all the what you can say the manual process understood 
now in the company also if one department want to take the permission or if one department need to take the approval of doing some activity okay okay if one department need the approval or permission to come, to do some activity now there is a no need to physically send the human or clerk from one department to the another department for the approval process you know to take the permission of some activity so here electronic approval process using this electronic approval process it it become possible it become possible to take the signs of your higher authorities using the electronic way only using the electronic ways only we can also think about the related with this the digital signatures understood so the electronic approval process enable the speedy approval of documents needing the consent of higher authorities needing the consent in the sense needing the permission of higher authorities suppose there is a junior manager uh, want to uh, 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 take the permission of performing some activity if the junior manager need to take the permission of uh, starting of some new project okay then he there is a no need that junior manager physically go to the senior manager or to the branch manager physically and take the permission he can just send that letter to that senior manager or to the branch manager and branch manager can digitally sign that documents and send it back to the junior manager so that is nothing but the electronic approval process which simply means no need to physically there is no need for particular human being as a employee to go physically from one department to the another department and take the signature of that higher authorities here simply through the computers where the your erp systems are installed simply using that you can send that document electronically just like you can you can send the mails in the similar way you can send that document to your uh, higher authority and get that document signed so this is that is the reason it is being referred as or the electronic approval process so this is the most important thing okay so no need to physically take the document and go to the higher authority and take their sign only you can send the documents through the emails or through the other document transfer service and get that document digitally signed from your uh, higher authority so that is the point electronic approval process okay then last we have is the important one multiple capabilities is a important module multiple capabilities means simply let me take give you give you the example now there are the number of companies are there in the india if you see the pharma company pharmaceutical company we have the sipla company okay sipla company is there now this sipla company is having the multiple branches this sipla sipla company is having their multiple business units in the india also and sipla company is also having their business unit in the uh, out of the india also okay in the uh, uh, the countries which are okay we are considered as abroad abroad countries so sipla company is also having their branches or the business unit in the america also uh, in the china also they are having their business unit now suppose sipla is having one uh, erp now if the sipla is having their business unit in the china okay as well as in the america now that uh, uh, what you can say the erp system must be available in the language which is being understood by the people from the china okay this erp system which is available in the sipla that erp system must be understood by the people who are there in the america because sipla companies are having the plant in the america also and in the china also so chinese people also referring the or uh, uh, the plant which is there in the china their employee might be the chinese understood as compared with the employee of india which are working in the sipla company their customers are also the chinese their customers are also the americans so this erp which is there in company of the sipla this erp must be available in the multiple language what this erp must be available in the multiple language this erp must not be available just in the hindi language or english language it must be available in the 
Chinese language also. If the supply is having the plant in the Japan, this ERP must be available in the Japanese language also. Understood. So that is nothing but the consider as the multiple capabilities or the multi capabilities. Understood. So this capability is also there available in the ERP system. Okay. Now in the multi capabilities also uh, things relate. As I said, the one thing that is get handle is nothing but the multi multilingual. Multilingual means what? Your ERP system must be available. Uh, your ERP system must be available in the multiple language, so that the people from the different countries or the employee from the different countries can also use that. Also, your ERP system must be capable to handle the transaction of multi currency. Multi currency in the sense now, what is what do we mean by the currency in the Marathi currency? Means chalan. Now in India, our currency is what. in india our currency is the rupiah rupees understood now currency of the china is different currency of the america is different america is having the currency of the dollar some countries have the currency in the euro okay so now this erp system must be handle the it 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 must be handle the transaction related with the dollars also it must be handle the money transaction related with the euros also as well as it must handle the money transaction related with the rupees also that is the meaning of multi currency and that is nothing but the module multiple capability module so this multiple capability module like I, as you can see here i have mentioned this is another important aspect of the cross enterprise functionality is the multiple capabilities needed by the system so to operate on the global level as i mentioned to operate on the global level in the sense outside india the software solution has to be multilingual multilingual in the sense your erp system must be in the multiple language in as, as well as it should be a multi currency means it should also manage the money transaction of different kind of currency like the rupees dollar euros dinar etc etc understood so the modern enterprises operating in the global market modern enterprises in the sense today's companies like cipla for operating in the global market operating in the global market means these companies have have their presence in the outside india also so that is the this point i have mentioned the modern enterprises operating in the global market have the multiple division in the different countries and hence the software solution should support the multiple facilities and this is nothing but the multiple capability model which is nothing but our last model of the generic model of the erp so with the help of this eight different module as you can see from the starting eight different model here you can see that we have discussed like uh, strategic planning resources operational planning resources then we have then we have discussed the central database then we have discussed the electronic data interchange electronic approval process imaging data creation and multi capability so using these eight different modules our erp perform their functionality and this functionality then utilized by the different functional department of your company as well as different business units and different functional department of that business units so that is nothing but our today's point of discussion that is the generic model of erp i hope all of you have got this point if you have any difficulty related with any of this model you can just comment me in the my website or you can also comment me below in the uh, in the uh, youtube also i will definitely answer your doubts and the question okay thank you all of you